Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Let's solve the problem B from the weekly contest 385. Now let's understand the problem statement. Please watch the video till the end for better understanding because this problem involves a lot of concepts. So we will see, we will see how exactly we can solve these type of problems. Now here you are given a two arrays with positive integers array 1 and array 2. A prefix of a positive integer is an integer formed by one or more of its digits starting from the leftmost digit. For example, 1, 2, 3 is a prefix of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, while 2, 3, 4 is not. He is saying that prefix is a something which will start from leftmost digit and it will compare. If it is C here, 1, 2, 3 is a prefix of 1, 2, 3, 4 because it contains 1, 2, 3 as prefix, while 2, 3, 4 is not because there is no prefix, right? <laughs> a common prefix of two integers A and B is an integer C such that C is a prefix of both A and B. He is saying that he, he wants two prefixes. Now, A we have some prefix, B has some prefix. Common of this is the C prefix. For example, if you see here, these two have a common prefix of 565, while 1, 2, 2, 3, 4 do not have a common prefix. He is saying that we, like if, if you are taking two strings, that does not mean that this should definitely contain in this. He is saying that only the prefix matters, the length of the prefix. Now we need to find the length of the longest prefix among all pairs of length x comma y such that x belongs to array 1 and y belongs to array 2. He is saying that he will give array 1 and he will give array 2 and one integer should be from my array 1 and one integer should be from my array 2. We need to return the length of the longest common prefix among all pairs. No, so if there are no common prefix, we need to return 0. So if you see here, Try to think, try to think like what exactly you can do. So first think about the brute force. If you see for the brute force, first we will try to iterate, we will take every element. We will try to take every element from the array 1 and we will compare with single single element from the array 2. That means we will iterate array 1 and we will iterate array 2 and we will check 1, 1000. So how many length, maximum length is 1 then there are no other elements so in the same way 10 10 length 2 100 100 length 3 in this way for every single element we will check the prefix so you know you know right how to check prefix either we can convert it into two string two string we can convert this both into strings and we can compare the indexes we can compare the indexes so if you see the uh, if you see the length my length can go till 10 power 4 that means my array 1 can have 10 power 4 and my array 2 can have 10 power 4 so if you see the time complexity will be 10 power 8, 10 power 8 and you need to check, you need to check the every index, right, the length. Uh, that means like uh, how many numbers it should present, so 10 power 8, so it hardly it will take 10, so I think it is negligible, so it will be like 10 power 8, so like this will exceed your time and now if you say this, this is a problem B, generally the problem B are easy ones in the lead code contest, but I felt this is a medium medium problem. Uh, now if you know we are going with brute force, so our condition will fail. So you can use different methods, you can solve using sets or so many things, but today we will try to learn the new concept called try, try data structure, try data structure, do not worry, if you just hear the name you will feel array try, it is very difficult, because try is not that difficult, try is something which we will build. So if you know about trace, then try is pretty much easy for you. What does try say? So if you try to declare try, it will be like class try, class try and you will declare my try star my characters. My characters here, if you see, generally we will have 26 characters in small case and in, in, in large case. Now here is saying that it will go till 10 power 8. That means you can have till 8 digits, 8 digits or maximum we can take 9. So that is why we are taking try, we are declaring and that is it. We do not require any other things because let us see like how you can declare different variables here. Now let us see the structure, how the structure will be formed. Now in the beginning you will be having the root node, root node same like trees, same like trees, root node and we are saying that try star ch of 9. That means if you see the linker list, if you see the linker list, same thing right, how the linker list is defined, class list and list star next right, list star next in a linker list. Now 
that means we are going with this in linked list we will store the value here okay we, we are going to store the value here we can store the next node here we can store the next node so we are declaring next because only we have the one connection only we have one connection if if my linked list has like many connections so it can't have but if you see here if you are going with try we can have so many connections 1 2 3 4 5 6 till 9 connections and this 9 connections can contain 0 to 0 to 9 values 0 to 9 it can be like 0 it can be 1 it can be 2 it can be so on it can be till 9 it can be 9 one minute so it can be 9 now maximum elements can be till 9 now 0 to 9 we have variables so the, the try is not something which is different try is similar to linked list but we have the nodes so first like suppose we have uh, let us say with one example suppose we have a b a then we have a b c a then we have a b a and d now it is simple like first we will build the root node first we will try to build the root node now let us iterate a b a now we do not have a so we will create a new node a then we do not have b then we will create a new node b then we do not have a so we will create a new node a now if you coming to the next string next string first you have a right so we will come to a first i will come to a then you have b yes i will come to b now at a now you have c so we do not have c that is why c v forms the new node then we have a then we have a now if you see this example a first we have a so we are creating then we have b then we have a then we have a it will come here then we have d so it will go here so in this way we will store array 1 array 1 is stored in this format now coming to array 2 array 2 can directly come right it can directly come and it can check so suppose we have these values and in array 2 if you have a b suppose you have a b now wha here what we can do is first we will go we will check my a is present yes my a is present then we will go and then we check b is present yes my b is present so my length can be 2 now suppose we have a b and d suppose we have a b d now we are at this position we will go here and we will check a yes my a is there then i will come for b b is there my d is not there so my maximum length can be 2 here my maximum length can be 2 here so i think you understood it why try data structure is used because you can see how much we can iterate how, mu how much we are iterating here so it is like order of height order of instead of iterating every values instead of iterating every values we are only iterating the order of height because we are storing this we are storing this every variables and it, this will will get in order of one time and the maximum height it can form is 10 power 8 so how many digits maximum 8 digits it can form so for everything it will be 8 so it will be like n into 8 iterations we are doing so it is pretty much fast so i think you have got it so if you couldn't able to understand please rewatch the video like from where the try has been told because i have tried my best to explain this in a best possible way now let's apply let's apply this try algorithm uh, for our uh, for our question now if you see here 1 10 100 1000 and everything so try to think try to think about try and try to code by yourself how the try is code because you can go here and geek for geeks you can try data structure oh, i think my it has gone so you can click on geek for geeks try data structure and you can start solving from there you can start declaring the try and you can you can learn the basic interface how the try is implemented now let's see the coding part both is simple try people will afraid like try is very difficult try oh that try but try is very much easy don't worry now we are to try class try try star prefix 10 means that means we have one node and we have 10 connections for this we have 10 connections for this and leave like you can modify try it based on this so just for the understanding i have kept here then this is a constructor we are using we are iterating and we are keeping every value as nulls in the beginning when we create a try when we create any list when you are creating a linker list or anything after creating a linker list for the next node definitely will keep null right if you are not storing any null 
it can be any addresses it can be any addresses so you will get the garbage error garbage if you are using java you can clear it out with garbage uh, garbage collections but if you are using c++ i don't have that much idea on that let's see now s1 now s1 we are converted into strings to string this is standard method we are using same thing for h2 we are converting into the string now first we have the root node root node is fixed right root node is fixed from root node we are trying to build the childs now star d is equals to root now ch equals to j minus 0 that means i am saying that 0 ascii value is something around i did could not able to remember but i think around 50 57 kuch hoga that's why from j minus 0 we are doing that means if we are 56 56 minus 56 0 you will get 0 if it is 1 1 minus 0 which is 1 that's why we are doing ascii value subscribe Sub subtraction now we are checking if this is null if it is null we are creating the new node if it is null we are creating the new node and we are creating the new node and we are going to that node in the same way so for array 1 we have created it now we have array 2 now we have v2 in array 2 we will iterate we will iterate and we will check either simple we will we have we have created a try data structure in array 2 what we will do we will come here and we will check my nodes are present if my node is present we will go to the next node and c++ if my node is not present i can say that directly i can break it out break so in this way for every character you are checking so this will go till order of height right only order of height it can go and we are storing the max and we are returning the answer so i think you have got it so i have tried my best to explain you this solution so if you gain something from this video or you learn something new from this video please consider to like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe i will see you in the next video till then bye bye